Hello guys, my name is Nato, Zafix, today we have another video, this time it is DOS 2 Tips and Tricks 2022 edition, and uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So the first trick here is one I bet you haven't seen before, instead of picking the CT AWP player like this, what you can do is uh, jumping, or just simply walking up on this ledge, you can see the CT through the gap here in the door, and with this you can insta-peek him, just like so. From the CT's perspective, he won't be able to see you through the tiny gap here because of the angle he's holding, so definitely use and abuse this. I think by now most people know this car Molotov by jumping on the barrel and aiming at the top of the door handle, but with a regular jump through it looks like this, it burns the corner and very little behind the car. What's actually better is stepping up on the barrel the exact same way, aiming in the exact same spot but doing the new jump through forward bind. This pushes the model further forward, making it so that the guy hiding car has to take steps further back. And so you can jump spot to check if he's actually there. I think most people know that you are able to jump up on this box by jumping on the corner here, but it can sometimes be a little bit tricky and if you mess up your movement you will get pushed off by the box like so. Well, I was almost today years old when I realized you could just go into this corner, jump up like this and end up in the same exact angle. Much easier. Here are three different ways to smoke the B doors on DOS 2 from three different positions. Super general. <laughs> I love you, Nate King. Nard out here blam, with this new CSGO blam, DOS 2 B door smoke blam, from blam, here, blam, blam, standing blam. here. Where you throw? Blam, blam, Here. Blam, 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 blam. Blam, Make sure to also subscribe blam, to my blam, second blam, channel, Nate's blam, Out Here, where I break blam, down exactly blam, the blam, physics blam, behind blam, this smoke grenade. Blam, we'll be calculating blam, the exit blam, velocity out of my head, blam, blam, and blam, blam, uh, I'll be posting 28 videos a day, roughly, on average. We've all been in the horrible situation where the CT orb is here and you want to get out of tunnels. Well, there are a few ways to flash, but one of them is a little bit bad and the other is a little bit too risky. I propose this alternative, a little bit above the roof corner, slow walk forward, hit this thing and it lands directly in front of his face. Talking about those 2B tunnels, by the way, we talked about flashes, now let's talk about smokes. There's this one, which is just plain bad. It takes too long and it lands too far out. This one was good in like 2015 when the doors were turned, but no longer really that great. There's also this one, which is a little convoluted, but honestly not that bad. It's just a little bit hard to remember. Here's the lineup. Use it however you may wish. But here's the best one. This last one, it's my baby. I got taught it by Bird from Sky. That should say enough. All you gotta do is make sure you're not visible from the doors, chuck it in the left side, it eliminates the orb angle, and then yeah. Yeah. I see this Molotov being thrown like this down from silver 1 up to 4000 ELO, and I'm done with it guys. This one sometimes burns on the bomb sites, pushes your teammates out of position, or maybe makes it so that your bomb plant guy is taking a lot of damage. Instead, throw it up on this square, it lands outside the window, burns a bigger area, and still pushes the AWP player out of position. It can be thrown from many different positions, I'll show you an alternative. So here we are at car. This one is super simple, just chuck it a little bit uh, hard through the doors and this one goes up again, burning all of the window. And here it is from Big Box as well, just in case you are curious if that also works. You chuck it hard onto the square, it lands outside and it makes the CTs retake a whole lot harder. If you've ever watched a pro CS GO game on DOS 2, you've probably seen someone throw this molo. And it is a good molo, and something you should definitely add to your personal playbook. But I wager that this next molotov is even better. As you can see, this one only takes one of the sides, but if you throw it like this instead, very consistent by the way, you both burn the left and right side of mid, making it so you eliminate more angles. Hello guys, my name is Nato Zavix. Uh, this part we're going to be doing live because it's just simply easier. I'm going to show you all the short execute nades that you're going to want to use ever, pretty much. And the first one is just in this corner, you aim half height of this. This one leaves a gap a little bit for car, so you can actually check if someone is here. You can also jump up here, check slope. You can jump spot for info if you're alone, or you can just come here, get boosted, and now you can see the site. So that's number one. Another one that people use a lot is this one, line up into here, stand up, top of this, 
This one leaves a big old gap where you can see any CT rotation, any guy coming back from long 2 CT. And even though it doesn't look like one way, it very much is. It's pretty much impossible to see you here without zooming in with an orb. So uh, definitely use this smoke. It also makes it so that the AWP from the other team has to take a later angle. So you will get more space out on short. And what people do is they combine that smoke I just threw with this smoke. Go in here and aim up here. Middle of this. I'll show it to you without the smoke cover. Just in the middle of this in here. This is the avant-garde smoke. And if you throw these two in combination, it should look something like this. So very uncomfortable for the AWP player, even if he jumps up on car, these are pretty much headshot angles and just one single flash and you have huge advantage on him. So this is the avant-garde smoke, the second smoke. And what's really nice to know about this avant-garde smoke is that sometimes this first smoke will be here and your team will want to want you to throw the avant-garde smoke. And as you can see here, it will be quite difficult for you to actually line this up. So what you want to do is either jump and try to find the middle and throw it. Or if even worse, the CTs have you smoked off here, you could end up in a situation where you really cannot see this thing. And jumping might not fix the problem because this one, you don't need to aim it very wrong for it to fail completely. So what I do is when this happens, I instead go into this corner. I use this line to guide me, put my crosshair on the right, move over to the other corner, throw, and this one should be the avant-garde smoke through the smoke. So if you ever smoked off here, use this technique to throw it through the smoke. Line, right side, move over, and throw. Very nice to know. Another way of dealing with this CG smoke is getting into this corner, aiming between this and this, so pretty much out from this and this corner, so we move up like that this one goes high in the sky so the cts won't hear it for very long it lands very fast but lands at the same spot on the box and gives you the same kind of one way this can also be used through the smoke of course as you are just aiming up in the sky like this now for the last smoke i'm gonna use or oh, actually not the last smoke but the uh, one of the smokes that you also may want to use is the CT smoke. You go in here, just aim here. This one's very simple. I think most of you know it. This is for the CT drop. And then the absolute last smoke is if you go in here and you aim out from this out here. This one lands in elevator and not many teams use it currently, but it has been used in the past. I'll show you the idea behind it. And this is why I've decided to include this whole section in my tips and tricks video. You do these two smokes. You can go over here, you can still see this line, so out from this. And now, what is the AWP gonna see? He's gonna see a full wall of smokes here, here. You can cross the side safely. There's very limited angles for this AWP player to play with. And um, basically, he just has to give it up. You could use this on a force buy round as well. Make sure to get that bomb plan in, get the extra bomb money. Uh, but this is also, on a buy round, a possibility if you do have three smokes saved. So, yeah, thank you for watching this section, guys, and see you in the next. I don't know if you ever did wonder, but if you ever did wonder how to throw B-Split smoke from top mid, here it is. When I played in Gorillas with uh, Senor Vak, aka Flusher, he showed me this smoke. I think it's quite cool to know as well. If you want to do a fast B-Split straight off of spawn, you can run down suicide, throw this smoke and have two guys just charging up mid doors. Talking about B splits, by the way. If you didn't know, you can take an AWP and you can still see the doors when there's just a regular B split smoke. So, what the top teams are doing is they use this smoke up on the box. You just line it like so, see this dot, and then follow this line up, make them align, and there you go. You have another B split smoke up on the top of the box. This one makes it so you cannot see the door any longer, you cannot see window, and it makes your B split much smoother. Here it is as well, obviously most of you will probably know this B-Split smoke, but I thought why not show you how to smoke up on the box from here. Find these screws, as you see they are on the wooden planks, there is this line, you put it on the end of the line, jump throw, and here you have one that's on top of the box.
And as if that wasn't enough, I've decided to spoil you with yet another smoke here, guys. One from short, use this to fake a V split per chance. Or just get creative. Here is a random one way that I found on a yeah, probably a Monday, boring grey Monday morning. Uh it's a one way that goes for both slope and for short. That's basically the idea. Uh, if you don't believe it works, here is a clip of me using it against NIP and winning a one on four. It wasn't practice, so it doesn't really count, but yeah. Right. Let's try it here. Oh no, they aren't did it. <laughs> it works! <laughs> if you're retaking a CT, the A bomb site, there is this flash you can throw, but there are some specific angles it doesn't quite take. And here is a proposal for a solution. If you throw it into this window area, this window flash basically takes everything. The top teams use it. Um, you should too, in my opinion. Here is another Molotov you may know. Uh, if you aim again at the top of a door handle and you jump throw, you can burn out all the backside. But I got the idea from, I believe, a Nard out here video actually, that if you take a few steps back and line up with this square on the wall and you then jump throw, this one instead takes the backside, but it also does burn elevator. So especially against low money, this is the preferred Molotov. It should not come as a surprise that uh, you can use this plank to get up here. That I think we all know right um, but there's also this tiny piece of metal sticking out i guess not everyone knows it if you crouch and then jump so you get a little bit added height you can actually access this from pretty much any angle it's all about the movement but yeah now you know it and another trick that you can add to your repertoire really proud of how i pronounce uh, if you double scroll when you jump up on this piece of wood you can actually go directly up and be sort of sucked onto the box so your head doesn't show to the short this is the much preferred way of climbing the box, and uh, it will give you a much better chance at a duel. Another defensive smoke now on the B-bomb side. The purpose is sort of the same as the other one I showed. You can peek right side and have advantage. You can peek left side and have advantage. And you can also use it defensively, so if anyone pushes mid to B, you can play around the smoke. Another quick tip for AWP players. Um, instead of peeking these angles and smoking deep like this, what you could do instead is turning around, lining up on the third step into the wall here and aiming top left of the white part, jump throwing, and this should give you a perfect deep smoke without being seen from the side. If you run and aim your smoke for the dark mark next to this tooth, you will almost always have a perfect deep smoke. I'm going to show you the sort of most egregious angle to actually take and do this with and you will see it's definitely not perfect anymore but it's still a deep smoke and if you have someone throwing the close smoke this will still end the wall. Here is a combo. If you watch a lot of Pro CS you may have seen this used before. The first one is the deep CC smoke. I imagine most of you probably have seen this smoke in some way or another. Uh, to get the lineup, I suggest just watching the video because it's a little bit hard to explain otherwise. Next is a Molotov for short that allows the long cross much easier. Go up from the left side of this tree, bottom of the lamp, and that should be your short Molotov. Here is a perfect lineup for the first smoke of the Wall of Smokes. Check out where the tooth is. The mark under the tooth a little bit left, standing in front of the barrel, one running step, and jump throw. Now this is a little bit tricky, it can sometimes fail, but uh, yeah, try it out. For the second smoke in the wall, you can line up with this line on the wall. You again look for the tooth down on the line directly, or like the mark on the pavement. Run and jump throw. This one should be a little bit more consistent. And with these two combined, you should have a perfect wall of smokes every single time. If you do get a teammate down with you in suicide, he can actually boost you up on these boxes. And if you crouch, this almost feels a little bit like having body armor. Not only that, if you go all the way out on the right side, you're actually no longer really visible from short and you can hold mid on an off angle. 
It may be a little bit off meta, but anyway, here is a lineup to cross to B without using a smoke grenade. And here is the perspective on the other side. We used to do this in Nordavin two years ago and it worked quite well, so definitely try it out. This nade, a lot of top teams are adapting to right now since the map has been changed and it's for rushing fast down suicide. If you're doing this, you're doing it wrong. Instead do this. Here is a nice off angles use on a B-bomb site. For some reason the head is only slightly visible and quite hard to hit. But from the other side it looks completely different and sitting here with a deagle could net you a kill or two. No idea when you would ever use this but now you know that it's possible. I don't think any pro player would ever use this in a match. I've got my eyes on you Mr. Rups. Thank you so much for watching the video guys. I do hope you have enjoyed it. Please leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't already missed NATO's Safix and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh and before I leave you, just remember that even on an old map like us 2, there are always new things to find. Make sure to check out my Twitch channel as well guys. I'm live there five days a week. Link is in the description.